How different would your life look right now if you were making, say, an extra $300 a day making something easy and passive like selling kids storybooks? This store has made nearly $2 million in revenue doing just that, and I'm going to show you how you can do the exact same with easy-to-use AI tools like ChatGPT and MidJourney. By the end of this video, you'll be able to create and sell storybooks like these on Etsy and Amazon to create a passive income source online, all with having had zero experience beforehand. If all that sounds good to you, do me a huge favor and drop a like down below for the YouTube algo. It takes two seconds to do that, but I promise you it helps the channel out so much. I appreciate you guys. Let's get started. To start off, we're going to go to a website called chat.openai.com and sign up for a free account. Once you have your account set up, the first thing we're going to do is ask ChatGPT for a title of a storybook for kids. ChatGPT is going to generate a title for us. In this case, we have The Magical Adventures of Pippin the Panda. Now that we have the title of our book, we're going to ask ChatGPT what the story is about. ChatGPT will generate a quick summary of what the full story of our book will be about. If you don't like the story that ChatGPT gives you, you can always ask it for another title and start over. In this case, I like the title and summary it's given us, so we're going to continue with it. Now we're going to ask ChatGPT for a chapter outline. It's going to create a list of bullet points describing the scenes in each chapter. Each of these bullet points is going to be a different page of our storybook. Since we have our story outline now, we're going to ask ChatGPT to write us a rhythm story. ChatGPT will generate our entire story for us using all the components it gave to us earlier. Once you've read over your entire story, it's time to generate some artwork to go along with it. Scroll back up to your chapter outline and copy the first bullet point in chapter 1. Now we're going to head over to midjourney.com where we're going to use AI to generate the artwork for our story. Midjourney is an AI tool that can generate unique art in under 60 seconds based on a text prompt that we give it. One thing I do want to mention about Midjourney is that if you want to sell any artwork that's generated by their tool, you do have to sign up for one of their paid versions of the tool. This is definitely worth doing and can be seen as a necessary startup cost for what will be a source of passive income for you. Once you're on the Midjourney website, you're going to click join the beta. Next, you're going to click accept invite. This will take you to their Discord server where we're going to be able to create the artwork for our story. Once you're in the Discord, head over to one of the rooms titled Newbie. Once you're in the room, you're going to type slash imagine and paste the bullet point we copied earlier from our chapter outline. After that, hit enter and the tool will generate four different pieces of art using your prompt. There will be two rows of buttons under the artwork that is generated. The first row of buttons, U1 through U4, can be used to upscale your selected artwork to a larger size for use. The second row of buttons, V1 through V4, can be selected to create new versions of your prompt using a similar style to the art you select. For example, if you select U1, it will upscale the first image. If you select V1, it will create a new image in a similar style to the first image. In this case, I like the fourth image, so I'm going to select the U4 button to upscale it. Now that we have our first image, I'm going to show you a trick for how you can keep a similar style for all the images of our book. First, copy the image link. Then type slash imagine and paste your image link. Now go back to your chapter outline and copy the second bullet point. Paste that bullet point after the image link and hit enter. Midjourney will then use the first image we created as a reference to create our new image. You're going to repeat this same process for each of the bullet points in your chapter outline. Feel free to regenerate the prompt as many times as you like if you don't like the art you get or the character doesn't look similar. To save each artwork that Midjourney generates for you, simply click the art and select open in new tab. Then just save it to your computer. Now that we have all of our art, we're going to head over to canva.com. Canva is a free software you can use to piece together the pages of your book. Once in Canva, we're going to head to Templates and search for Storybook. Then we're going to select Create a Blank Storybook. After that, we're going to upload all of the artwork that we downloaded from Midjourney. Once all your artwork is uploaded, add one piece of art for each page. Now we're going to go back to ChatGPT and copy over the text for our story and paste it on top of each related art piece. You can customize the text with Canva to make the pages look more visually appealing and easier to read. Once you've done this for each page of your book, you're ready to download it. Simply select download and make sure to download it as a PDF for the highest quality export. With all the components of your book, you can now create listings on Amazon and Etsy. If you need help starting your stores, check out the links below in the description of this video for a full guide. A great way that you can differentiate your listings from other storybooks is to offer customization when it comes to the main character of the story. For instance, the customer can give you a name they want used in the story. This is something you can easily do that will help you stand out and also let you charge more for the customization. When a customer purchases one of your books, you can use a website like Vistaprint to create and ship the book to them. They have a number of options and sizes that you can choose from at competitive prices. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this.